All right, so let's practice some more GIS skills. So let's open up our QGIS, open a new empty project. Let's add in our CSV file by going to layer, add layer, add delimited text layer. We will navigate or browse over to the folder that's holding our CSV file. So we're looking for Nutria collars. We're keeping our file format as CSV. We need to tell QGIS which is the X field and which is the Y field. So in this case, someone else had labeled the columns. So you need to remember that longitude is the X and latitude is the Y. For geometry coordinate reference system, I told you all that it has not been projected and the datum is WGS84. So to find that, let's type in the search field WGS space 84, and we'll see lots of options pop up. So we're going to ignore the projected coordinate system. We're gonna look at our options for GCS. So let's pick WGS84 that doesn't have too much else associated with it. Let's pick that one and hit OK, add, and now let's close this. Let's add in our street map to make sure we're in the right area. So double click on that, which is nice and easy since we've already installed that plugin previously. And you'll notice that it looks like we're missing our locations. That's just because the street map is placed on top of our points. So let's flip the order by dragging the street map in our layers below our collared locations. So now we see our points. Now keep in mind, this is the points for all the nutria, not showing the individual nutria. And it's showing all of their coordinates that have already been um, determined by GPS. So what we wanna do now, since the goal of this is to develop the home ranges, the MCP home ranges, is going to our toolbox going to vector geometry, opening that up, scrolling down to minimum bounding geometry. And the input layer, it should find it automatically as our layer. For field, this is our opportunity to tell QGIS that we want to run the MCPs based on each individual animal not the total of all the animals, but each individual one. So each individual animal was fitted with um, a radio collar, which had a unique frequency. So that's in essence, it's unique ID number. So we're gonna change field down to the frequency. For geometry type, let's select convex hull. For bounding geometry, this is gonna be where we save our file. So let's go to save to file. Let's navigate to our ENST 462 folder and let's call it Nutria Home Range and hit save. Now we're ready to run. So let's hit run. And I love how fast QJS is. Now you'll notice that at first the home ranges pop up with the same color, which isn't all that helpful for us because we wanna know which animal's which. So there's a couple things we could do here. We could right click on this new layer that we created and go to properties. We could change the symbol to categorized instead of single. We could change the value to that frequency number from the radio collar. And then for color ramp, we could change to whatever colors we want. Let's try spectral. Let's hit classify and it'll show us a different color that's associated with the different frequency numbers or the different animals. Each individual animal has a unique color. So we can do that. Now let's say we're only interested in the nutria that had the color five or the color with the frequency 520. So let's unclick all those others and then hit apply and okay. And now we see the home range for just that one individual 
or maybe we want to see all of them. So we can go back and click all of our different home ranges from all of our different animals. So we can do either.